Okay, so now that we've seen how easy it is to install FreeSpin 3D and access the control panel, we're going to go ahead and create our first interactive 3D project in Flash. So to start out, we've got this banner and we've got one layer with text on it. And we're going to go ahead and from our FreeSpin 3D control panel, we'll select Import 3D and we're going to go ahead and check Import to Stage, which is the default setting. And we're going to import an FL3D file, which this is the format that FreeSpin 3D understands. If you don't have an FL3D model, we have a conversion engine that converts 3DS files to the FL3D format. And 3DS file is one of the popular, most popular uh, 3D model formats. You'll find a lot of these models online. So we'll cover this in another tutorial. So let's just go ahead and select import. And we'll choose our 3D model, which is going to be our cell phone. We'll see FreeSpin 3D go through a process of importing that model and giving us a preview of it on the stage. Now, if you were using the CS3 version of the extension, you would use this component control panel and drag the FreeSpin 3D component onto the stage, import the 3D model into the component, and then you would need to select uh, the live preview button in order to preview it. And obviously the CS3 control panel looks quite a bit different than the, the CS4 version. So it's imported our 3D model onto a layer and we'll go ahead and move this over where we want it. And our, so our scene's set up now. The one thing we need to do still is add interactivity to the 3D model. So I'm going to roll up the import palette and select behaviors. I have to have my 3D model selected. And I'll choose keyboard control, which is going to allow me to use arrow keys on my keyboard to rotate the object. Select that. You'll see that I get this little uh, warning message saying that the keyboard controls are going to ignore the animation frames, which is this little drop down up here. We'll cover this in a separate tutorial. It's not important for this one. And we'll also choose mouse control, which is going to give me the same warning. And my project's ready to go. I'll hit control enter here to preview it and you'll see that I have complete interactivity with my 3D model using my mouse to rotate it up and down, side to side, whichever direction I want or the arrow keys on my keyboard, right, left, up, and down or any combination of the keys. Now the really nice thing too is we use the most simple method for applying these behaviors but uh, within our behaviors panel there's another option to add behaviors down here which goes much more in depth and gives you more control over the acceleration of the object. Uh, you actually get snippets of the code so you can go in and um, expand on what we've offered here.